Welcome to another lesson, an extension of uh, what we learned in uh, area of part of circle. Okay? But this is not really about area. No. Area I have done. A sister to that is about length. You see, we had area pi r squared. Length of a circle, the diameter, the I mean not diameter, the circumference is 2 pi r or pi d. So we, we, we borrow. If an arc subtend an angle theta at the center, then it is theta over 360 times pi d. Now we don't put pi r squared. That's why I have brought this. A quick connection. So look at this. This is in KMF. I don't know which page, but some question on KMF. Eh? It is a question six. We are given the radius of this is five and the radius of the big circle is ten. Okay. So what are the common mistakes? That is what I want to remove. If this is SR we replicate it replicate it here so that we have we have uh, let me take we have a length a similar length here the mistake you do is replicate a b up no it is not a b up no it is s r so s r becomes p let me put this letter q so qb is parallel to s r and they are also equal in length so how do you do it if this is five then this is also five then the the, the q a is a balance so if this is ten this is 5, I remove 5, I remain with 5. But suppose SA, the radius of big of big circle was 7. Suppose it was 7. This one is 5. Get it. That is where the trick is. So this 5 comes here again, 5. So from this big radius, if it was 7, you minus 5. So the remainder is this part. Okay? Now, this figure remaining with my letter is B, Q, A. Q is our creation to make my explanation simple. Okay? So, R, B is 5. Even S, Q is 5. My figure is not drawn to scale, so don't mind. Get the concept. So, this is a triangle. Now, this is replicated again on this side. It's the same thing. Okay? From here to here is 5. I measure from L5 inward. I put it letter T. Letter T. Okay? So, big radius minus small radius, you get the remaining part. It happened to be a triangle. And note, this is right angled triangle. There, it's right angled triangle. Okay? Now, what do we need to do? Get this procedure right. Angle work. Deal with angles. Angles. If I'm given angle alpha, this angle here is given as 84.26, then automatically, automatically, we should get angle beta. This small angle here. Because this is 90, then the two are complemented there. Okay? Or if you want long method, 180 minus 90 minus alpha, you get angle beta. Simple method, 90 minus 84.26. You will arrive at the same answer. So, angle work. From what I'm given, I generate more angles. 
this angle here will be the same here. Okay, it will be the same. So 84.26, even this is 84.26. This angle here marked with a dot will be the same here. Simple understanding, eh? simple understanding, step by step there. So I come Roman 1. What is angle SAL? Reflex. S A L reflex. Because that is what is going to be to give us the, the length of the major arc. So I am dealing with angles to understand. So I have 360 minus double this, which is here. This is 84.26, 84.26. If you add the two, you get 164, 168.52. Subtract it from 360, you get that. Okay? I come this side, deal with it first. So we have known this angle up to there. Now, RBM, angle RBM, obtuse. So obtuse is this. Deal with that angle here. It is 360, okay, 360 minus 90, this, minus dot, this, minus another dot, this, minus 90. Why 90? Because these were 90. A diameter and a tangent meet at 90. There. So when you do that, you get this. So here, here, very important. I've finished with that. Angles. Now I come to lengths. Lengths. Let me handle this line before I switch the camera. Major arc SL. SL. That major arc. It is 191.48 over 360 times pi d. This 20 is diameter. Radius is 10, diameter is 20. You get that. Okay? Can we focus the camera a bit below? Yes. Just one step there. I'm dealing with now what? Lengths. I'm dealing with the lengths. I started with angles. Now, minor arc RM, minor arc RM, again I go up a bit, we see RM, minor arc, this, from here all the way up to here, that is the minor arc, this was major, now I'm dealing with minor, so I need to know this angle here, which we found to be 168.52, okay? 168.52 over 360 times pi times diameter. Diameter is 10 because radius is 5. Then you get that. Very good. Step by step until you get the concept. Come down a bit. We focus now. Let us focus our camera there. I've gotten the major arc on the left hand side, the minor arc on the right hand side. Now you come, common tangent, common tangent, that is SR. How do you get it? From the triangle. See, we have this triangle here. I have a hypotenuse 50, which was given. This angle is 84.26. So 50 times sine of 84.26 gives me the opposite QB. And this QB, remember, is the same as SR. Okay? We focus again. Down. SR is the same as QB. You get it 49.75. Very good. Then, you double. Because one is up, and one is on the lower side. Again, we go back. One is up here, and one will be down here, known as LM, which is equal to LM. So I have to double them. The top 
this one here and this one here okay so we come down again focus this time we focus until the lower part yes so i double this to get 99.50 centimeter then now come to finish this is part c not part four now c so three major steps angle work length total length so total length will be this the two common tangents plus this 14.71 that is the arc length on the right hand side plus 33.42 the arc length on the left hand side and then you add them you get the total quickly quickly now three major things when you're dealing with this kind of question deal with the angle work generate more angles so that you get number two deal with the lengths okay they involve very simple formula arc length part of circumference and then there is just a triangle which gives you the length. Okay? There will be a triangle. You use Sokatoa. Part of circumference, Sokatoa, then total, addition. I brought it in because we have done part of area. This one is now covering part of length. So, you see, I've killed the two birds with one stone. I am done.